chapter 11 next chapter squares and square roots okay so we'll just start the exercise 11a here exercise 11a so the first question by using prime factorization check if the following numbers are perfect squares or not okay so it's 1 9 3 6 is given the first one so you just find out here uh, prime factorization means uh, we'll just start from the uh, small number there is 2 okay there is prime number we will start from the prime number so I will just start 2 here if 2 going miss we will take 2 okay so 2 9 are 18 remain 1 here so 13 2 6 are 12 remain 1 16 2 8 are 16 again take it 2 here 2 4 are 8 remain 1 16 2 8 are 16 and 2 4 are 8 again take it 2 here 2 2 sir 2 4 are 2 2 sir Again, take 2 here, 2 1 sir, 2 2 sir, 4, again 2 1 sir. Again, 1 21 means we'll go only 11. 11 11 sir, 1 21. So we can just write it here. Uh, 1 9 3 6 equal to square root means you have to take like this, okay? Square root. If here is no number, there is 2 inside, okay? So write the numbers 2 into 2 into 11 into 11. So here, 2 2, we can take 1 2 outside. 2 square means like uh, we can say square and root cancel okay so 2 you can just write 2 square here and here also same 2 square here also 11 square okay so here from the square and root cancel square root cancel so we can say 2 will come here 2 will come 11 will come so 2 2 sir 4 4 11 sir 45 okay so it's a square number it's a perfect square number okay so the question is asking whether uh, whether you are by using prime factorization, check if the following numbers are perfect square or not. So, so one nine three is a perfect square number. Is a perfect square number. Okay. And now see the second one. We'll just go to one two nine six. Okay. one two nine six question number two one two nine six so we'll just do same process again one two nine six it'll take two two six up twelve two four zero eight okay uh remain one so two eight zero sixteen again we'll take two here three two two so four four okay again take two one remain one six uh, twelve then we six two so twelve again two Again, 281. Again, 327. 3, 9, so 27. Again, 3, 3. So here is also 1, 2, 9, 6 if you take square number. 1, 2, 3, 4, 2, and 4 trees. So 2 square, 2 square, 3 square, 3 square. So 2 square is 1, 2, 1, 2, 1, 3, 1, 3. So 2 to the 4, 4 is a 12, 12 to the 36. So surely we'll know this is also perfect square number. Okay, which one is not perfect square means you know any of one number is extra count, it's not a perfect square. Okay, suppose here only 1, 5 is extra count, it's not a perfect square. If 2, 5 means okay, it's possible. Okay, extra number come like that. So we have right answer for this also same. Uh, therefore, 1, 2, 9, 6 is a perfect square number. Okay, 1, 2, 9, 6. Therefore, 1, 2, 9, 6 is a perfect square number. You write it like that okay okay i will go to question number two again okay i'm not doing all the questions here you can just try yourself okay i'll just do two two questions in all this question one two three four all okay so now question number uh two question number two show that each of the following numbers is a perfect square in each case find the number whose square is given show that each of the following numbers is a perfect square in each case find the number whose square is given number okay so the second question is um, see here it's the same question of last one okay they are asking perfect square number this, this all numbers are perfect square only we are going to find the perfect square number okay so we can use the same method okay Actually, the last question they are asking perfect square or not only, okay? But we are finding the answer also same thing, okay? 
So we'll just see here again same process 2 0 2 5 so here cannot take 2 because 2 1 cannot divide 5 okay and 3 is possible or not just check it okay uh, 3 6 or 18 remind 2 22 uh, 21 I think 3 is possible we can try 3 here 3 6 or 18 remind 2 22 3 7 or 21 uh, remind 1 15 3 5 or 15 again it's possible to take 3 here uh yes possible we'll try three two zero six three two zero six remain one fifteen three five zero again it's possible three three seven start twenty one remain one fifteen three five zero again three twenty five again we'll go only five or four okay so the answer is two zero two five is three into three into three into three into five into five so 3 square, 3 square and 5 square. So we'll take 1 3 here, 1 3 here, 1 5 here. So 3 3 are 9, 9 5 zero, 45. So the answer is 45. If you multiply 45 into 45, we'll come to 0 to 5. Okay. And question number 2, second one is your homework. You try. Okay. 6 5 6 1, you try your homework. And we'll go to question number 3 now. Question number two, second one. Try yourself. And now question number three. Question number three, I'll just write it six five six one. Okay, you find out answer for this one. And next question number three, you see, find the least number. Uh, find the least number uh, by which the given number should be multiplied to get a perfect square number. Okay. In each case, find the number whose square is the resulting new number. So the first one is given 1458. We'll just find out here 1458. Okay. So 1458. Uh, if you take it here, 2 here, 2 7 sir, 14, 2 2 sir, 4 remain 1, 18, 2 9 sir. Again, 9 is here, so 2 is not possible. We'll try 3. 3 2 are 6, remain 1, 3 4 is 12, 3 3 sir. Again, 3 you take, 8 1. 3, 27, 3, 9, 3, 3, 3, 1. So here see, 1, 4, 5, 8, if you find out the root, 2 into, how many trees here? 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6 trees. Okay. So here see, this 2 will just keep it same thing, but here 3, square, 3, square, 3, square. So this is not a perfect square number because two only extra is here but here is okay we can take it but this two is extra so the question is what given see the question find the least number by which the given number should be multiplied so what number if you multiply will get a perfect square number because now three see just for example this three one three we can take one three we can take one three we can take but two only one is here so not possible so we need one more two is in so we'll just put that number extra one two we'll put so two two we can take 1, 2. Understood? Now we can multiply 3, 3, 9, 9, 27, 27, 2, 0, 54. And the number you, what number you multiply, you have to multiply here also. Okay? 1, 4, 5, 8. What number you multiply, multiply by 2 here. So it will be how much? 2, 2, 0, 16. Remain 1, 11, 9, 2, 9, 1, 6. So 2, 9, 1, 6, square root number is 50. Four, okay, and what what is the least number? Therefore, the least number is the least number we multiplied is two, okay. And question number two, two three five two. If we take two three five two, we'll just use the same process. Two will try. Two one so two. Two one so two. Remain one fifteen. Two seven so fourteen. Remain one two six. Again, 2 you take, 2 5 are 10, remain 1, 2 8 are 16, remain 1, 2 8 are 16, okay. Again, 2 you take, 2 2 are 4, remain 1, 2 9 are 18, 2 4 sir. Again, 2 1 sir, 4 2 are 8, remain 1 7. Again, we can take 7, 7 2 are 14. 7 answer. 
again take seven three zero okay so now that means two three five two I'll just write it here the number is uh, two how many is here four two zero and two seven one two three four and two seven and one three okay one three is extra so here see two square two square and seven square but three only one is here okay so this is not a perfect square so we need to write only one three is here so we need to write one more three here we are just writing one more three here that means two two will take one two 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 one two two seven one seven now two three will take one three then we'll multiply two two sir four four seven sir uh four seven is twenty-eight okay twenty-eight into three is eighty four okay and here also you have to multiply by three here so two three five two you have to multiply by three here okay so six three five is fifteen remain one nine ten remain one seven okay seven zero five six square root is eighty four so therefore the least number we multiply this what number least number to multiply is three we multiply by three only so we got a perfect square okay uh, next question number four question number four is similar to the last question okay question number four is similar to the last one but there is was uh, we multiply find the least number to multiply and here is what number to divide okay that's the only thing but remaining all same process only 2800 2800 we'll do like that two one four zero two seven hundred again you can take seven also we can take just write hundred again five i'll take five only prime number can take only thing okay only this one is a prime number only can take cannot take that any other numbers here so five uh, for the 20 again two two seven okay so write it here 2800 we'll write here the numbers are 2 into 2 into and here also 2 to 0 we'll just write 2 into 2 again uh, 5 2 5 is 0 and 7 only 1 is 0 so here 2 square again 2 square 5 square 7 only 1 is 0 so here what telling here find the least number which if you divide should you should be divided to get, get perfect square the last one we multiply multiply means we'll put seven here but now what number to divide so what number to divide we'll just divide by seven here so seven seven will cancel even here also you have to divide okay so seven four is a 28 so right here 400 two two come and two two one two 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 one two two five one five so two two seven four four five zero twenty Okay, so therefore the least number is the least number we multiply so much seven. Okay, so that's over for this one. And question number four, second one, you try that is a homework. Question number four, second one. Okay, homework, try yourself. Okay, next question number five. Okay, question number five will do. Uh, find the uh, smallest uh, square number that is divisible by each of the numbers 8, 9, and 10. So 8, 9, and 10 is given. So you, to find like this one, what you have to do, you find, find LCM first. 8, 9, 10, LCM if you not. LCM means now which number can go here. Uh, 8 is here, you can just go, just take 2 here. 2, 4, 0, 8. And 9 won't go in. 2 won't go in 9, is it? So just write 9 same way. And 2, how many times in 10? 2, 5, zero. Again, what number? Again, take 2 here. 2, 2, so 4. 2 won't go in 9. 2 won't go in 5. Again, we'll take 2. 1, 9, 5. Again, we'll take here. 3 will take. 3, 3, sir, 9. 3 won't go in 5. We'll just keep it. Again, we'll take 3 here. Again, 5 will just keep it. Again, we'll go only 5 is left. So we'll just write, sorry, uh, 1. Okay. So therefore, LCM of 8, 9, and 10 is, just write all the number, 2 into 2 into 2, 3 into 3 into 5. Okay. So we can take it low. If you make it here, uh, square root 1, 
If it already we know square root means with two number, one number should be taken. Okay, so we'll just take it here. See, two we can take two, and two three we can take. But this two and five, there's no uh, pair. Okay, there's no uh, there's no there's no uh, pair is pair is zero. So what you have to do? We have to multiply by the same number we can get. So like here. Um, so the number to get is okay. I'll just multiply here. So you just see here now all these numbers you multiply here. So multiply all this number now. Uh, two two are four, four is eight, eight is are twenty four, twenty four into five is one twenty, one twenty into three is uh, three sixty. Is it? So it's totally if you multiply three sixty. And already we said here it's not a perfect square. Three sixty is not a perfect square number because two and five. Uh, it's not no pair okay so what you have to do we have to what to get the pair what you have to do uh, we have to multiply one more two and one more five so that means two five zero ten is it so here uh, for example here we need a uh, two square here only one two is here so we need one more two and two three just try the same thing and five here only one five is here we need one more five okay so that means if you multiply all together so it will come three six we multiply uh, one more zero that means 3600 okay so therefore the least number what could this given therefore find the least square number that is usable by each of the number 8 9 10 so we can divide by 8 9 10 by this square number okay you can divide the number so now um, okay now question number uh, Five, we finished the one that is over okay for this exercise okay and question number six you just try yourself okay just try yourself and it's not a homework you can just try yourself so that's over for this exercise